Hello YouTube and welcome back to my next video. Today I'll be showing you how to change the MAC address of the Liberboot BIOS as well as how to flash it internally on your laptop once you change the MAC address. So let's start off by downloading the tool required for changing the MAC address from GitHub. Now when it's done, we have a directory called Libreboot. Let's go into it. Now resources. Utilities. Fish 9. Tbloop. Yeah. So now we type make. We have. 9 gen execute this command now we will want to type in our MAC address here it should be behind at the back of your laptop but we shall have some recorded this is the format you will want to get this type in just replace the ones with our whatever address you have on your liberal boot by laptop and you just have to execute it. Two files will be created. Now we will have to move the Liberboot BIOS to the ish 9 debloop file. So I'm going to go into my ROMs for Liberboot. Pick the one I'm using. Let's copy that to the folder required. There we go. Now let's go back to it. We have it here. So now we're going to use the dd command, so dd if, depending on your size, you have two files here, 4 megabyte and megabyte, if you have the MA megabyte BIOS, use this one, 4 megabyte, this one, if the 8 megabyte BIOS, I'm just going to use that, now, name of your Liverpool BIOS, That's done. Now, just for convenience, I'm just going to move the BIOS to the main home folder. There we go. Now that we have our BIOS ready, we need to install Flashroom. This will depend on the distribution you're using. If you're using Ubuntu based distribution, you'll just do apt-get install flashroom. And that should do it. I have, have it already installed. So now what we want to do is go to etc. default grub. Suit online grub. And here we want to go to grub command line Linux. Type in yo man. Relaxed. After that, we have to update Grub. 
Once that's over, just restart your computer and we can continue afterwards. Now after restarting, we're ready to flash the image. So, flash room, p, terminal, w, name of it, BIOS. The name of our chip you should know that from the previous flashing. Let's forget about sudo to do that. Administrator executed. It should be pretty quick. It should take too long time compared to the hardware flashing. It's, it's done right now. It's just verifying. And there you go. After resetting, you will have your original MAC address on your laptop. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, press the like button, if you dislike it, press the dislike button. And if you want to see more, just subscribe. And i see you next time.